Welcome to Face the Facts. I am your host, Nick Face. We welcome you to a Super Bowl edition here where we have the Patriots versus the Rams in the 2018-2019 Super Bowl. Joining me to my left today, Tom Smith, supporting both the Rams hat and the Patriots hat. It's our preview show. Actually, three hats. Three hats. Three hats, hats in one there. Yeah. And we got Phil. We got all, every team Italy on down here, there. You know. Who are you supporting? You actually got your Patriot colors on. I guess. I, I guess I was going to reserve it for tomorrow. I'll wear a Ben Coach jersey. And a not, not a starter one, but an a Apex throwback. one. It is. It's actually it is one of my throwback. favorite. Uh, I got it at Marshalls for like 20 bucks. Well, we all kind of dressed accordingly. I got my Patriots hat, oh, there you go, sweatshirt, yeah. and everything Patriots on. Hat, sweatshirt. So I got my We're all ready to on. go here for the Super Bowl. We talked about it on our last show that it's amazing where we are right now. When we dated back about a month ago, the Patriots came off that terrible loss against Pittsburgh, and everybody yeah. just was like, are we even going to make the playoffs? That playoffs? Was a, that was You're a real, talking playoffs? That was a real concern. That really was. And now we're in the Super Bowl. Did I tell you it's I stunning. met that guy? Did I tell you? You did the, meet the, him. Yeah, the former coach of the Rams. And um, no, he was a college coach, wasn't he? No, he was a NFL coach. He was no, he was at the time he was a coach of um, Indianapolis. That's who it was. It was Peyton's first season, I think. That's who it was. Yeah. And he was at Apple Pan in L.A. This Such is a, a short, classic. stupid. It, uh, no, have you been there? It's a great place. I haven't place. been there, no. But he was eating a burger at the end of the thing. Like, whoa, this is 2006. I'm like, oh, that's that guy. Yes. I forgot the coach's name. I think I might have remembered it at the time, but I'm like, as soon as I was leaving, I was like, playoffs. Yeah. And he clearly hated me. <laughs> he just like <laughs> took a bite into his burger like, don't even. <laughs> it was the best. It's going to be one of the most leg legendary phrases, though, in sports. Oh, it's great. From, that, from what he did. The playoffs? Yeah. Playoffs? But yeah, we're in the playoffs. We're playing the Rams, and it's amazing that the stage that we're at, with all the uncertainty about the whole lead-up of the season, you had Brady missing OTAs, not feeling like he wanted to be a part of extracurricular things. You had the Edelman suspension on the top of that. You had Gronk one foot in, one foot out. Am I retiring? Am I not? You had the Josh Gordon carousel. You've had so many plots throughout the season to lead up to the big stage here and here we are so it's, it's stunning yeah this might be one of the more stunning stunning get to the super bowl uh seasons that i think we've seen outside of 2001 uh, yeah and who was that against the rams I mean, uh, lo and behold it's only fitting you know you know it's only fitting so many uh oh go ahead no you got something going i can feel it <laughs> no it, it. i mean it, it's it's kind of i mean and then people are talking Tom Brady retiring and all that stuff. So it would be, it would, I mean. We can put that doubt out. We, yeah, this this was talked about on our show, I think, the last yeah, episode. He's, he's, put his, he's, put his foot, he's put his foot down on that and said that he's not retiring. But it would be kind of crazy if, you know, his first Super Bowl against, it would be against the Rams and his last Super Bowl would be against the Rams. I would love Rams, it. How can you not be, love that? Like, how can you how not, can not go out on that note? And, yeah. You know, He's got 45 written into his mind right now. It's, well, he it's even, what he wants to hit. He's he, said it he a million said it times this week. At the, addressing the media, which was uh, basically a Julian Edelman question fest. Yep. <laughs> oh. I don't and, know if you caught that. It's been an interesting oh, media, media, uh, yeah. media day with stuff. We've heard Gronk say some very questionable things. What? With like, I know where the body is. This may are. be, be, this may be oh, it. No. He's giving more detail about oh. things yeah. that maybe he sh never had. Before? What do you mean? Oh, about I'm trying to think of a good example with stuff, but he's been talking about getting banged up a lot, that it takes a toll on your body. Is this the end of it? He says he hasn't talked about it or thought about it much. Wouldn't that been on everyone's mind? I don't feel that anybody really is retiring here from the Patriots. Really? I don't. I don't even think Gronk is. I think so long as Brady's there, these players are going to be there. Same oh. with McCourty. McCourty's another one whose name's oh, been out there. That is the one one. That was that a surprise. I was, yeah, that's but I think the one that it, I think that guard. they're doing this to maybe play with the media a little bit to speculate on things to kind of put the attention maybe more on that than the game. Well, speaking of the, well, I mean, we'll continue it about the addressing the media. But like, yes, I watched. I caught a little bit of uh, Tom Brady uh, addressing it, and there were a lot of questions about Edelman being thrown at him, like. Why do you care so much about his opinion? I mean, like, I get it, like, I don't know, but, like, why do they care so much about his opinions on Edelman when, like, when they're addressing the media, it should be more... I think that they just look for certain things to kind of 
get a charge out of certain people a little bit. And um, Brady just keeps what, what calm, they? cool, and collected. They were just asking like about his performance in the San Diego game, the Kansas City game, like, mm. oh, how has he been? Like, how was he during the regular season after coming back from the suspension? But it was like Brady addressing the media and maybe like a question about Brady and then five questions about Edelman and then another question about Brady and then but Brady was like calm cool and collected. They're all over the place I, I will definitely say that. It was just it was a weird it was a weird uh, we um, might weird be, press conference. We but. might be too used to like the local media like just not like he's delving into like, I'm a little like, burnt out to tell you the truth with oh. hearing from our local media. I think it's kind of appalling that we have so many local media in this town that just want to crap all over certain teams. Like we're in the oh. Super Bowl here. Like who? And Felger and Maz That's for the only once. One. It drives me crazy. <laughs> That's the only I was one. I hadn't been feeling well this this week a little bit, right. so I'd been I was watching a little bit of the TV and and you turn it off. It gets so Burnt out. Wait it's like it's you, an act. You got to go back a bit. Who are the other? Like those are the only ones. Who are the other? Oh, you get your ESPN jerks. And yeah, but they're not local. They're, they're not local national. from and stuff. And like, there's only one. But Max Kellerman. Max Kellerman. And Rob they're Parker. Rob Parker's of the ESPN world. ESPN doesn't know what they're talking about. I mean, no. It's all it's Some all LeBron do. James and you know talking well, they, crap about Brady. I, and I, the I should outside of the Felger and Nash, you do have some people on the NBC Sports who. Feel the Patriots aren't going to get the job done, but well, they might not. It's, Who knows? It, it's it's interesting. Well, it, it's why? What are you playing here? I'm How play, dare I'm you? Playing How that. dare you play the stupid like? Hey, no one believes in us. It's like. Well, cool, I think that that's point. part. It's part of the act with a lot of these people. It's to get a charge out of us, and it's to stir the pot a little bit, and maybe it's 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 that extra ammun ammunition. That's needed for the Patriots for bulletin board material to go out and do the job. Well, I mean, speaking of media, like crapping on certain teams, uh, did you know Brady was a known cheater? Oh, the Phil the Pittsburgh guy. The, there was a guy that had his own restaurant, was it? No, no restaurant. What was it? Um, no, he was uh, work. He worked for a CBS affiliate in Pittsburgh. Correct. For uh, CBS, and he was like the graphic guy or whatever, and. You know, they're they're talking about the uh, farewell rally or whatever you want to call it, send off to Atlanta for the Super Bowl, and um, you know they're panning to Tom Brady when he was talking about like, oh, we're still here, like doing his chant thing, and then they put his name out, and you know how they do like a certain thing underneath yeah, his yeah, name, yeah, a lower yeah. third or whatever. Known known cheater was <laughs> was the caption under his name. That's pretty funny. Uh, obviously, the people from Pittsburgh didn't because they fired the guy. Oh, you hear I mean, about that? no, I mean, I'm sure, like, anytime you go outside of what you're supposed to do in that kind of thing and grab national na yeah, national attention, yep. yeah, they, you don't care for it. Yep. But it's, you know, it's funny. I mean, well, I mean, I guess he was, job, I guess he was but... on the radio today and he was, like, pretty positive about it. I guess he, like, he likes to go from job to job. He, so, I mean. If he can do it, yeah. Well, he's getting the it, attention it's, now. It's, yeah. it's, pretty, it's pretty smart to, you know, ha know how to, like, get fired from a job. So you don't, think he's same... gonna, you don't think he's going to be moving up here? To uh, the Boston area for, for, for he work? He probably started here first. He said he's a big Brady fan and a big Patriots yeah. fan, and he wants the Patriots to win the Super Bowl, so who knows? Yeah, it might be just a Harlequin kind of dude uh, who just wants to, uh, I don't know, be a mischief maker. It's kind of great. But Speaking of mischief makers, uh, uh -oh. Roger Goodell did his press conference on Wednesday. Anybody get a chance to see that? No. That was uh, Did he set it right? That was your get your popcorn ready for that. Um Basically, he dotted around, uh, actually beat it around the bush on the whole Saints and and Rams fiasco with of the officials and stuff. Because he paid him he off. He is just nothing but a fraud. And I tweeted at way? him. He hasn't blocked me yet, but I tweeted at well, I him on Tuesday I don't or stuff. Think and I go, How does it feel to be one of the most hated people in America? I mean, I, I he is just ask hated. Him when he's walking I think the bank, people I guess. may dislike him more than Trump. Oh really? Uh, I think a, that's, that's a, a stretch. You don't that's think? A tall order. That's a stretch. Uh, it's it's. I think it's close. If they're if in a, put bar, a poll if up they're in a club together, I mean, pick your pick your point. I'd rather go talk to Trump than than the wow, Goodell. Wow, really? I cannot stand Goodell. Um, I mean, I, I just wouldn't to go into that bar. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I wouldn't either. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's that's true too. Place. But if there were two people on this earth and I had to choose between whatever, sorry, uh, people who are Trump don't like Trump. I'm going to go talk to Trump versus I'm going to go talk to. To Roger, tomorrow Boob in the news, Goodell. face the fact, face the fact soon. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Trump supporting. We are Trump, Trump supporting. Uh, 
Well, no, I, I don't know. I, I talk with Roger Goodell. At least, like, with... I have zero respect for him. I just yeah, have none. Yeah, but, none. Be, but none. it doesn't mean you wouldn't be able to talk but, with him. I, I just I want to punch him in the I, face. I guess if uh, I had... well, And I'm not like that. There's People your conversation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want to punch him in the face. Well, what is it? No. And then just, like... Whereas you tell Trump you want to punch him in the did face. Did any of well. you get a chance a yesterday? Yeah. Did any of you get a chance yesterday to see, after the uh, press conference was done, Sean Payton, the coach from the Saints, apparently had the bar stool Roger Goodell clown shirt on oh, yesterday he did? underneath his I jacket. I don't like those guys. I just really they rub me weirdly the wrong way. I think the they bar stool group. I think they try way too hard. Blocked. <laughs> <laughs> I think they try way too hard on something. one bite. Nobody knows the rules over there. <laughs> hey, I don't know. Sorry. I just think they're just. They kinda... got thrown out of media day on Monday night. Well, they didn't have. Well, they didn't, they didn't have, have credentials. credentials. They didn't get thrown out. They didn't belong Well, Goodell there. blocked them. Goodell uh, doesn't want them there. Good, good. They don't. I don't care for like. But it, it, they're still getting national attention because, oh, because of, of it. Yeah. Because of it, yeah, which yeah. is which is which is really crazy from it. Well, yeah. No, I think you make a good point. <coughs> I think they like playing into them as like the enemy, kind of makes them even more than they need to be. It's like, no, they're just a stupid like Boston sports group of kids. But and they've like, definitely got to Goodell, which is hysterical. No, yeah, I, I'll if you don't that, remember, if you remember what was it, four years ago with the whole deflate gate? Oh, yeah. Remember when they Seattle. went to the New York headquarters and they locked themselves to the, uh, or chained yeah. themselves in the lobby and got yeah. arrested from that? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do your parents think of you? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We're, just, <laughs> were they just, in diapers? We call money and she's going to bail me out of jail. Yeah. No, they're not a diaper crowd. Why they look out there? It's it it was it's an it's it's a whole interesting dynamic back to the whole Roger Goodell point because you know a, after the whole thing that played out and this goes back with Deflategate I mean I don't have any respect for the man I mean I know that that decision was made you know again with all the owners and stuff but let's be honest here he's a puppet compared to the owners put him there in that position because he's when is it never a puppet I guess is my question he's never not a puppet well I mean well, just the position itself right. Here's, he's just a body that's there. He's there to make the owner's money. But when is here's, it not? Here's, my, qu here's my question, though. When has it ever been such a big deal for a team to be as good as the Patriots and, like, people to complain and accuse? And because, I mean, I don't know what it was like back in the day, but, like, no one complained about the Canadians like, or accusing the Canadians of cheating for winning so many Stanley Cups. It's because they hate people. They hate us when there's greatness. Yeah, but I everybody mean, hates on the Yankees, but no one's accuses them of cheating and winning twenty seven World Series. I think. Too. I mean, I think there was something there at the like my stance on what cheating or whatever. If the balls were like inflated by X amount of whatever it was, I mean, did that? How much did that help? I mean, did that really help? Who didn't? Who has not altered uh, balls in any way? Aaron Rodgers came out. And said he likes his balls a certain way. And this is a filthy conversation to have. It is a filthy conversation. And just to uh, talk about all these people's <laughs> balls and just how frivolous they get with their balls. But, I don't know. Yeah, is he a cheater? Who cares? Like, you don't, you don't get to this point, like, cheat. did they cheat their way to this point? Did the defense cheat their way to this point? No. Well, maybe they can make a case for the Rams. Well, that's your point back to yeah. steroids. I mean, with baseball and everything. Oh, no, I, I mean, yes, if they took steroids, if you're McGuire or Sosa or Bonds or any yeah. of those guys, they still have to produce. Yeah. It doesn't magically give you, like, It doesn't just like, magically you run. press a button and boom, the ball yeah. goes out of the park. You still got to work at it. You still have to, have still have to work of, yeah. for it. I mean. Some skill. That's why when the whole baseball vote comes, when they go to the Cooper Center, yeah. I, I'm more lenient yeah. when that stuff comes on. Or yeah. stuff comes up, rather. Yeah, yeah. So. No, it's, it's just weird. I don't know. Jumping back into the game here, I know we talked on our, our last show that led up to this about what our thoughts are for scores. I want to see if any of your scores have changed since the last time that we've sat down and talked about this. We well, you know yours kind of did. Well, it was, but then I remember <laughs> yeah. that. Then I remember that I had already picked, and I need to stick with that. No, you. Don't I really like Tom's it, score. I mean, yeah, what was yours again? Mine was thirty to sixteen, and it seemed to Not stick it, stick in your mind for the entire week. So I don't know. I don't know why it's stuck in my mind, but mine. If you roll back the tape or click on the YouTube link of the last <laughs> face the facts, uh, my vote, my my vote, my my score was twenty eight to twenty four. Tony Romo, uh, Patriots. Yeah. And that's what Tony Romo's picking, and I don't know how I feel about that. 
<laughs> I don't mind. Romo Actually, I don't mind. Romo. Romo's but no, I'm, I'm with it. Like, how, but he's not. He's way, he isn't deciding on whether it's, it's not deciding on who's Rams. winning and everything here. He's just that's his score. And he's calling it right. Yeah, CBS is calling the game. That'll be fun. That's why you didn't pick a winner. Oh, that makes sense now. Yeah, but. that kind of yeah, that's a weird position, isn't it? Like you're like, hey, I made a call. It's yeah, like, like you I didn't stay bet neutral. on it. I swear. You got to stay neutral yeah, on yeah. both sides. So I think he did the right thing. Yeah, with but what I, he did. I like Tom's. Score. I, I really mean, like Tom's score. But it just, yeah. I want it to be 30. I want to lay back, enjoy myself. 30-17 also sounds good, too. Well, I think someone else, like Jim Flores was another guy who said, like, oh, like, uh, it was like 39 to 20 or something. Like, it's like, it's going to be the same. Like, he said I'm it. Just, I'm just feeling it this year. Brady's feeling it this year. It, it's, it might it might be a lot closer, but I would love if it was some sort of blowout. Will this be the blowout Super Bowl that everybody was hoping for? I don't think it is. I don't think so either. I'm hoping. Like, you know what I mean? That fan heart. Yeah. It's like, hey, why not? Yep. Like, I don't uh, think it is. Yeah. I mean, it almost was the blowout for the fans against the, against the Falcons if it wasn't for that yeah. unbelievable comeback. And what about, like, if the Eagles, if we, I'm a believer if, if uh, Malcolm Butler was out there and the team wasn't so, like, frazzled, yep. maybe they didn't appear as frazzled. I don't know. We talked about that on that last show, yeah, and briefly. I still feel that they were all in a state of shock. Yeah. Like, what is Belichick doing? I just, not I just think this, I just think this team has more believability yeah. in each other. And yeah. I do, too. The Brady, camaraderie Brady, is all in. I've seen a lot more emotion out of Brady in the last two games than I did. Oh, this is all season. gravy for him right now. He can yeah. soak it up and, re- no, and but enjoy it, every moment right now. I think Tom's right. It's, it, you can, you're right. You can soak it up. But I think you, it's a totally to, different team. It's, in the playoffs this year than it was in the regular season. And that's saying something because they have in other Super Bowls or before, prior to other Super Bowls, they've just looked the same. Or they've looked like the same team going Correct. into the playoffs coming from the regular season. doesn't look like the same team. No. This team mm-hmm. has grown tremendously since that Steelers game. Yeah. Since that Steelers game, they've just they figured it out. Whatever switch was flicked, they just did it. Well, there's one play. I was thinking about the Steelers game and how crazy it was. One play threw them threw them off. They were they were on like in the goal line, like I think it was like first and goal, and then or yeah, I think it was first and goal, and then they got like a holding penalty. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I remember that set them. Back. I'll even go back and on then that they got point right flag there. Too. Yeah, that's right. Like and it just like that kind of Patriots in the red got, zone. We're very we're, up until that yeah. after that Steelers game. We're terrible in the red zone. Yeah. They get the ball down the field fine, but then when they get to the ten, the fifteen, the twenty yard line, yeah. it was just penalty or move back, move back, and Brady would get intercepted or we wouldn't get the ball. We had a lot of turnovers this year, a lot. Yeah, we even had a turnover in the Chiefs game if you remember. We that. did. Which was it a was weird, a yeah. third and one, I believe. Oh, a we had a couple. One. We had a couple. It was a fourth and one, and you had Burkhead go in, and he didn't get that. Oh, I thought you were talking about the goal line. We had the goal line one too, and Brady got intercepted. I mean, so we had multiple chance choices, uh, chances there to um, yeah. score a little bit more. But anyways, we have our scores and everything. We want to still figure out again who our MVP choices are for the game. So. I'm going to start with Phil this time. I mean, I might stick with it. I do like Kyle Van Noy. I think that would be a fun uh, MVP. I mean, I, I think we all... Van Noy's been chirping this week. He has quite a bit. The last a couple lot. weeks he's been chirping. That mouth is going, and I love it. It's great. He's fantastic. He's a, a welcome respite from the usual tight-lipped uh, Belichickian or the Belichick army. And I, uh, I don't know. Uh, it usually goes to Brady because that's what happens. Even if he doesn't truly, you know, deserve it. Not to say he never does his job or uh, picks up the slack. But, you know, right. James White was the, the MVP of that uh, Super Bowl. In That's a lot why of ways. he got the truck. Yeah. He got the truck. Uh, but I could definitely see Kyle Van Noy or, you know, Brady doing it again. But I, I, I think... You like Kyle, Kyle or Brady? Like yeah. Kyle more Kyle. Yeah. Kyle more, yeah. Well, I'm going to stick with what I said last week and say that Brady gets the MVP and he gives the truck to Van Noy. You like that choice. My selection was Edelman. Right. Okay, oh, my other man. wild card was Gronk. The reason now I'm leaning a little bit more towards the Gronk than the Edelman side is, you know, like this stat. The Rams are one of the worst defensive teams against tight ends in the league. Wow. So I think Gronk's going to have a, a surprisingly 
MVP like game. Well, that's the thing. Like, I, he hasn't had that explosive. No. This season, really. But he hasn't been. really had many targets either. Yeah. I think we're going to see a lot more targets with Gronk. Let's hope he doesn't. Well, you know, you know, Brady pays attention to the stats, so he's gonna. He, That's he knows. something that I know that even <clears throat> even the Rams know that they can't defend Gronk. Yeah. So let's use Gronk as as effective as. I mean, we other can. than that defensive line, they have a, they have a. Fairly and may small I also defense. remind you too that when the Patriots have both Edelman and Gronkowski in a Super Bowl, they are perfect. Let's the continue two that. They are two well, and zero. Oh. And Brady said yesterday too that or in the. Um, they had Gronk for the Rams. Uh, not for the Rams. They had Gronk for the Seahawks and Atlanta. Same with Edelman. We did not have Edelman last year against the Eagles. We did not have Edelman against um, the, Giants. the Giants in in the yeah. second one. Second. No, I think that was Gronk. And Gronk we, we had, Gronk. but he was hurt in the second yep. Giants one. And yep. the, he was more of a decoy. Yep. I remember yep. Brady threw. So something. that's that's but that's Brady, a big Brady said when he addressed the media too that he's re- he's ready for Don- Donald. He said he's a good player, but he's ready Aaron for Donald. Donald. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And he's gone against other guys. And Philip Dorsett. I have another thing to ask you too. So we all know about Brady as being the goat, you know, greatest of all time. But to stir the pot a little bit, I saw a, a report out there. I'll keep the name nameless because the guy's a clown, anyways. But I'll keep asking. Somebody him. said that five and four. Is not as good as four and zero oh in Super Bowls. Montana was four and zero. Oh. I mean, statistically, Brady's five sure. and four. Yeah. What do you feel on that? But okay, five and four, great. But or four and zero, oh, great. But you appeared in only four Super Bowls. Five and four means you were, you were good enough to get to nine Super Bowls. Yeah. Just because you didn't win, the more the more championships you appear in, the less likely you are going to win. Just to stir, just to stir the pot. That's what yeah. they. That's what they. And it's an interesting thing. And I, we've heard this topic all week about like six and three is a lot better than five and four. And even like once now, I'll go back to Jim Flores. I heard him talk on Felger and Maz and, and uh, some other programs about how like oh these it's kind of weirdly unpatri unpatriots mm-hmm. about their record in uh, the Super Bowl because they're no. But I don't mean that as like, he was more saying that as a compliment. Yeah. Like. He, they should have like those two giant Super Bowls, or like easily could have been a one. It could have been one a player here or there, and uh, even the Eagles, like something like that. So you're easily like an eight and zero kind of thing, yep. or even like a seven and one if you take away just the Eagles flat out. Yep. But yeah, I five and four. You bend to nine. Yeah. It's like that's nuts, man. That's it is nuts. nuts. Like half of his career. Sometimes More you, just than don't half? E- you don't realize it. Sometimes you just gotta sit back and realize what you've seen. Over the past, you know, 20 years. Yeah. It's nuts. It is nuts. Are there any other, um, like, sports bets or anything that you've thought about or, or, or heard anybody talk? Or like, um, the over-under on the anthem, on how much it's uh-huh. uh, on how well, long it's on. Who's doing the anthem? Uh, good question. I know Maroon 5 is the halftime. Yeah. I can't wait for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really? Forward, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Um, I yeah. I guess there's the WWE thing going. Is that right, Jason? During the WWE is going. He gives. He's giving the thumbs yeah. up. Yeah. I'm not a like Maroon Five. Just seems like the that's, that's the wet part of music. That's I your guess. bathroom time. That's yeah. my crying time. Yeah. Hey, it's better than Black Eyed Peas. I guess. I don't, I don't know. know. I, I even Black Eyed Peas. Are you really a like fan of Maroon have, Five? Is yeah, that I your like game? Maroon 5. Oh come on. Man. I don't mind them. It's just I thought yeah. they were so 2010. I guess the dating. 2009. I don't, see, that, I don't know. That doesn't mean anything. I maybe guess. I'll maybe need to go back well, a little I further. Well, I mean, the greatest halftime show that's ever going to be <laughs> held during a Super Bowl is the Justin Timberlake. Janet Jackson. Was <laughs> sure. <there>. The, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it was a listen. I'm not gonna lie. JT had it going on. Yeah. And then malfunction. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, I remember being in like, What that was going on? But it wasn't much. Like her breast wasn't like hanging. Like, I just she wish had that was Jessica Biel, not. Oh. Janet Jackson. Oh, I, I think you don't think Janet Jackson uh, really? I'm no, not Jessica Biel. That's his wife. I <laughs> oh, mean. that was a real cringe from from Nick or Janet Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Je- yeah, they were going out. Or I'm just saying it was. The, yeah. Yeah, but it was, it was like the most entertaining one because then How you old had. Are you? Like seven? that was that was what 2003. Daddy, yeah. what's that? 2004, <laughs> January. Yeah, or February. <laughs> That's part of a breast, son. I was. Yeah, I, I was ten. What are those? I was. I was. No, I was. It was 2004, 15. Was like the February. February. So I was 14. 12, 12, 13. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So that is kind of like, whoa. Yeah. Like, because it wasn't like, it wasn't the worst thing. You know what I mean? And it seemed like it was planned, to yeah. be honest. 
And it wasn't like it wasn't her breast was. That was exposed. the last year that MTV produced the halftime show, I believe. Oh, that with I think who it was, did yeah. produce it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because yeah. like the NFL is so wholesome. That's the yeah. thing I it's always so love about yeah. integrity of the game. Oh, whatever. Man. All right, Goodell. And, and, and now the, the halftime show hasn't been good ever since. Goodell should be banned from yeah. Massachusetts. Period. That's just how I don't I know. Feel. Let him in. Let him. Hey, well, go take his money. Why it was it was that one pinata for us all. It was that one, and it was U two doing the tribute to the two did a great job. Visually, that was crazy. I thought. Yeah. Um, I think that's all we got to cover. I know we're all rooting here for the Patriots with everything. Yeah. I'm excited for the game. How do you think Brady's going to... Sorry, I could go I'm not on. Con- I'm not concerned on the Brady front. I think Brady's going to be fine. He's going to be able in. to run the ball, too, or is it going to be... No, he's not going to run I the ball. I think he learned his lesson from last year with the whole yeah. running. Remember when he oh. ran? Yeah. And also, if he, if he caught that pass, yes. that was... I don't know if we'll see that play this year. I Maybe. hope not. I, I think we will. I you would love to will? see a Sony Special Michelle play. Some McDaniels, I, McDaniels uh, I think, special. I think we're going to see it, especially with Edelman being in the Super Bowl. This oh, year. yeah. Good call. Again, Gronk and Edelman yeah, together. Well, because who, who was the one that threw the pass last year to him? Because it wasn't Edelman. If oh, was that was Edelman a while ago. That was Amendola. Yeah, that was in right. a playoff game. That was against the Ravens. That was 2004. No, that was Edelman with the Ravens. No, Edelman Amand- was the Ravens. Amandola they did it, was, they did it was last year. What, in it, the was Super Bowl last year. it was Amandola. Yeah. It was Amandola. So which Amandola I didn't know until like a week. Which, week. which oh, Brady yeah. would have caught that if it was Edelman throwing. I'm just uh, saying. He should have yeah. laid out. Uh, yeah. That's part of my uh, out. Yeah. I know he could have gotten hurt. He should have he caught that. I don't know. <laughs> we hope you enjoy the game. We hope to be able to be here next time to talk about the game. Hopefully it's a big win. And uh, go Pats. Yeah. For Phil Healy, Tom Smith, Nick Face, we'll see you again next time on Face to Facts. See you later. Goodbye. This podcast is part of the Norcast Podcast Network. Check out more podcasts at podomatic.com slash norcam.